Hi, I'm Little John's mom, and I'm going to be teaching you about Little John, my son. And here, when he grew up in Newberry, that's when he learned how to sing. This is where I'm going to tell you how he learned how to sing. He learned how to sing. He lived in the hood. And then we moved to Savannah. And then we moved into Savannah. Okay? And then he, we lived in the hood. Everybody knows that. Lots of, you know, lots of, you know, lots of Mexicans. Well, I tried to tell you something about him. He is a singer. And, okay, that's, that's, I know you heard his music. I, I wish he, I just wish he won the BET Award instead of Little Wayne. Well, I don't think he won, but he listened. But I listened. I just wish that, you know, Here's um, I do support with my son, but I, uh, you know, I don't. Would you like to hear one of these songs I wrote for my son? Well, you're talking about snap your fingers and do your step. Guess what? You know what i I did it all by myself, too. See, I'm getting to my 40s, and I'm going to be doing Mary Poppins. You say, I listen to you and I sung these songs too. I sung these songs to Lil John. I look at his name, but he changed it. They call him, he like Snoop Dogg. But they call him, you know, he like Snoop Dogg. So he said, man, yo, yo, y'all need to call this Snoop Dogg up in this hood. But now I like to learn how my son and little John know how to talk now. Well, when I said, uh, when I said little John, take up the front. He said, okay. When, when I, and then I said, little John, did you take up the front? He said, yeah, you. You see, and when I said little John, go watch the music. He said, okay. When, I said, the little dog, did you wash the dishes? Yeah, you. Do y'all want to know why little John always wear them big shades? Well, one time when he was a little boy, I asked him to do something. He said, no. And then I said, I slapped him so hard, his eyes swole up just like a bullfrog. And, and ever since, and ever since, now he wear these glasses. See, I got these a reminder. He go take them home today, you know. And well, I got these as a reminder of him not to go all oh, sassy up with me. My name is Ella Louise Fields. And I cook the best oxtails in the world. Everybody know. And every time I cook some food, somebody gonna be coming running for these oxtails with my mashed potatoes. You know, I'm glad to put a pinch of onions in there. Yeah? Well, you don't cook them kitchens and get you to bite your butt for the sun go down. <laughs> the bitches don't bite your gut before the sun go down. And yeah, I'm telling you boys, I don't play. Y'all messed up crunchy hair boys, I'm telling y'all, I don't play. You hear me? I whip your butt and chop it for the sun go down. My name, my name is Amarion, and this let me tell you something about this lady. I know. Well, when my grandma had that surgery on both knees, you know that it can be kind of painful. Well, when my grandma, when she came there, my grandma couldn't get no kind of privacy. I kept on telling her. I said, Grandma. That lady keep on following you everywhere you go. She's like, yeah, girl, that's right. And I can't get no kind of privacy up in my house. Yeah, and that's why.
And even when my grandma went in the bathroom, used the bathroom, she followed her. Walking up in that bathroom, following her. My grandma couldn't get no child of privacy. She, my grandma, she was putting on her bra. She in her room. You see that? Well, it, well she, you know, I'm telling you some people, some, some people is just strange. Y'all don't try to hang around no people like that. Y'all, some people just strange. They get all up in your business. What you talking about, huh, huh? Let me tell you something. Uh, a few days ago, she talking about, huh, here your pie. And, um, here your pie. Eat this pie. My mom told me never not to eat off somebody that you don't hardly know. And I know that too, for sure. So please, and be tuned in next week, July 4th, for the next show. Oh, it's not July 4th, but, um, November 13th for a new show. And be tuned.